Hi everyone, this is Girish. And in this presentation, I will continue with AI project workflow. So let's get started. This is part four of AI project workflow. Let's look at the agenda. We will talk about what is our project, AI project type, then also look at AI project best practices, and then finally next steps. What is a project? A project is a temporary effort undertaken to create a unique product, service, or result. And it has a definite start and end date. A project can involve a single or multiple individuals, a single or multiple organization. And a project which creates a product, it can be a new component or enhancement of existing one. Project which creates service, it can be a new business function or improvement of existing one. And a project which creates a result, which can be a new research or process to identify trends. So let's look at a few examples of project. Project for developing a new software or hardware project for enhancing existing product or service, project for creating a new cloud platform, project for creating a new business function, project for implementing a change in business process, or project for enhancing existing business structure. Project for conducting research in scientific area, evaluating purchase of new software or hardware, acquiring a new business or system. And overall, it is about project management, which involves applying knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to AI project workflow activities to meet the project requirements. So let's look at AI project type. AI project type can mostly fall into analytics, machine learning, and deep learning. Analytics is fundamental to any AI project, and depending upon whether business problem involves structured data where machine learning can be the option, or if it is unstructured data where deep learning using neural network is the best option. Analytics project type includes descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive, all of which can overlap based on scope of business requirement. All the types will deal with data preparation, data analysis, data visualization. Descriptive analytics deals with description as it is about what has happened in the past. And predictive analytics deals with prediction as it is about what could happen in future based on past trends and Prescriptive analytics deals with recommendation on what should be done based on outcome from descriptive and predictive analytics. Let's look at a few examples for analytics project type. Analysis on job market, growth, and salary benchmark. Project which has analysis on COVID-19 case, impact, and vaccination rollout. Or a project where analysis is on climate change and carbon emission reduction. Machine learning project type primarily includes a regression, classification, or clustering area, which can overlap in any AI project based on scope of business requirement. Regression type project deals with simple, linear, or multilinear problems along with polynomial regression problems. Classification type project covers binary and multi-class classification along with combination of multi-label and clustering type project deals with segmentation, grouping or anomaly detection and recommendation system. Analytics related activities are precursor for any machine learning project with EDA as one of the primary milestone in AI project along with model training and model evaluation. Let's look at a few examples for machine learning project type. Regression project, which is like sales volume prediction project to 
uh, predict air quality index, right, or rainfall forecasting. In classification, it can be a chronic disease prediction project, customer churn prediction, or weather forecasting. It's sunny, rainy, you know, cloudy, etc. Clustering project example can be fraud detection in financial transaction, segmentation of customer behavior, or recommendation on product purchase. Deep learning project type includes ANN, CNN, or RNN, and each of them has specific area, which can be applied for a specific business problem. ANN can be used for both structured and unstructured data, but CNN deals with image-related unstructured data via computer vision, and RNN basically deals with text and speech-related unstructured data via natural language processing, commonly called as NLP. Also, just keep in mind that deep learning project requires large amount of data, high computing power, and longer duration for model training. Let's look at a few examples for deep learning project type. Project to do handwriting analysis for signature verification, project for face recognition for bio-authentication, or project to do sentiment analysis for social media content. An overall AI project type can vary based on business domain and business function, as each respective business sector has different objectives and goals. So whether it's education, agriculture, environment, social, manufacturing, retail, insurance, you know, each sector, each industry, or each business function has different requirements and different needs. So let's look at AI project best practices, the process. AI project best practices in Smart Street is driven around project management, which are fundamental to successful project outcome, along with POC and prototype approach that enables better understanding of business problem by keeping everyone on same page. Enterprise arch architecture practice covers end-to-end -end solution feasibility, and Agile framework helps to provide quick visibility into a potential solution along with DevOps, MLOps, and SecOps practice. Project management is about balancing the competing project constraints, which are scope, quality, schedule, budget, resource, and risk as applicable in any AI project. And overall, it is about stakeholder management, which involves addressing various needs, concerns, and expectations of the stakeholders in planning and executing specific AI project. POC, which stands for proof of concept and prototype practice is about translating initial idea or requirement in sandbox environment and deploying in lab to mimic functionalities which can help validate requirements. Building prototype can also help arrive at approach on how business problem will be solved and identify any gaps in data requirements for a specific AI project. And also doing POC or prototype at initial stage of project helps to arrive at better agreement on pilot project to be deployed in production, keeping MVP in mind, MVP, which stands for minimum viable product, includes all the minimum features and is functional in production environment. Enterprise architecture practice is driven around business strategy and business process with business architecture, data architecture, application architecture, and technology architecture as a backbone. The main purpose of enterprise architecture is to determine how an organization can most effectively achieve the current and future objectives of its business goals. TOGAF stands for the Open Group Architecture Framework, which is one of the popular one, along with Zachman Framework for Enterprise Architecture. ADM, which stands for Architecture Development Method, is core part of TOGAF. Usage of Agile Frameworks, such as Scrum, Kanban, safe or hybrid option provides 
process of iterative development with continuous feedback when working on AI project workflow activities. It advocates working incrementally and collaboratively. These are some of the top ones with hybrid option, which can combine agile and waterfall methodology. And it's all about collaboration, which agile framework enables for faster delivery with value driven approach. DevOps practice is combination of development team and IT operations working together with set of tools, culture and philosophies that enable quick delivery of application and services for any AI project. Automation is at the heart of DevOps with continuous integration, continuous deployment and continuous delivery. MLOps practice is derived from DevOps and combines ML model building team and IT operations working together with set of tools that enable quick delivery of model deployment and prediction. And SecOps practice extends to combination of security team and IT operations working together with set of tools that enable quick delivery of secure code deployment in AI project. Also, cybersecurity along with data protection mechanism is one of the fundamental aspect for any AI project deployed over cloud platform. To summarize, SmartStreet AI team has knowledge and expertise on various AI project type using those AI project best practices, which are required for AI project workflow activities. Next steps, the collaboration. Feel free to connect with me. Please connect with SmartStreet AI team to learn more and be part of meaningful AI projects on ESG criteria and circular economy area using AI, data science, cloud computing, and blockchain technology. Collaborate with us if you are a data analyst, data scientist, data leader, student, fresher, freelancer, or a startup. Collaborate with us if you would like to be a sponsor, partner, or investor. Thanks for watching this and looking forward to collaborate on exciting and meaningful AI projects. Thanks again and have a nice day. Bye.